Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started, first and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. And third, want to give salutation to all the Akin, to so the whole full elect that pushing forth this word in the truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 shalom. All right, Brother Haka from GMS South Carolina Midlands Branch. Back with another listen here. All right, and this right here is going to be a, you know, a short video here, short listen rather, and I'm going to be reading from Amos five and eighteen, and we're just going, to, you know, I'm going to read on down verse twenty, man. Amos five and eighteen, and then of course, as I read it, I'm going to go back and I'm going to elaborate, man. All right, it's Amos five and eighteen. It says, "Woe, woe means woe means destruction, man." All right, it says, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah." And that's, and that's going in on two-thirds, man, all right? Because two-thirds don't know, you know what I'm saying, what the day of the Lord holds at the end of the day. Jacob's trouble is going to be like a time like no other. Yahweh Shem Shah say, you know, we couldn't bring that judgment, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's going to bring that, he's going to start with the house of Israel, pursuing back to 1 Peter 4 and 17, man, you know? And also Ezekiel 9 and 5, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, Jake, in two-thirds, they're not going to have that tawab, all right? And, and, and that word Mark in Ezekiel 9th chapter, that word mark goes back to wild, which is a spiritual, which, which, which is the spiritual mark, which means exemption of judgment at the end of the day. Two thirds not gonna have that mark, man. When Yahweh Shema was shot, gonna pass over, he gonna bring judgment upon him, which is gonna be fucking death, man. Because the doors of mercy and grace are gonna be shut closed, man. In Jacob's trouble, when Yahweh Shema was shot, come to bring his vengeance, bring his wrath, it's gonna be like a time like no other, man. Most high's not playing with anybody at the end of the damn day, bro. And if you ain't moving according to the words and to the laws, such as commandments, Yahweh Shema was shot has given us, man, to make it simple, stupid, if you're not part of the elect, Man, you're gonna be destroyed, man. You love this fucking world. You are partakers of this world. You want to trust and believe in Babylon. You think that your vote gonna count next month when you go ahead and vote? Get, you know, to get your vote on with Trump or Kamara Harris, or you want to vote independent, whoever you your ass fucking vote for or whatnot. Hey, man, you know the scriptures tell you woe until man that put his confidence. Woe unto him that put his confidence in man. We supposed we supposed to keep our confidence in Yahweh Hashem Shah, pursuing back the Psalms. Um, I think that's uh, Psalms 1 and 18, if I ain't mistaken. Matter of fact, let me see if I can pull that real quick, man. All right? That wasn't that ain't the scripture I had in mind, but, you know, it's all through the spirit, man. You know, it's all through Bukal Kadash at the end of the day, man. All right? But this right here, if I'm not mistaken, it's Psalms, yeah, Psalms 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, than to put confidence in princes, man. So yeah, man. So you sit up there, you put your confidence in this place. Hey, man, your ass gonna go down with America, man. You gonna be sadly disappointed, man. At the end of the day, man. All right. Cause the results are, the, the judgment is, Babylon's gonna go, gonna go out with the fire, man. All right. And it's in, the, in, in this, in the foreseeable future, man. It's right there around the corner, man. No 20, 30, 40 years down the damn line, man. All right, down the road, rather. All right. Now going back to uh, Amos. Uh, the fifth chapter. Hold on. Amos, the fifth chapter. Hold on here. Where I was reading from. Amos. Shalak, Shalak, Shalak. Where we at? 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 Um, yeah, here we go. Amos um, 5 and 18. Once again, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Rashad, to what end is it for you? See? All right, what end is it for you, man? Because, you know, in America, you know, Babylon, you know, Roman Catholicism, rather, they'll teach you, you know what I'm saying? You, you can, as long as you serve Jesus Christ, you're Lord and your Savior, you'll be saved. You ain't got to do no works. You ain't got to have no faith. You ain't got to display your works of faith. Only thing you got to do is say you believe in the Lord, your Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior, and you're going to be saved. That's what a lot of these peons out here think, man. All right, they think they're going to make it off their own merit. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, we have laws such as commandments, which is Yahweh Bashim Shah given to the nation of Israel, in which we cannot keep it perfect, but we keep it to the best of our ability at the end of the day. All right? And you don't supposed to take that damn karagma, all right? That, that's the physical mark of Revelation 13, 16, and 17. You don't supposed to take the fucking karagma. If you take the karagma, your ass gonna be destroyed, man. All right? Simple as that, man. All right? You know, Revelation 14, 9, and 10 is your judgment on that. Okay? 
And then, and then, and like I say, as the balance, yeah, how about your mouth? I say he gonna save us in our troubles, man. All right. And also Isaiah 65 and 13, most I say he's, you know, his servant shall eat. All right. Why you two thirds gonna be hungry? Yeah, how about your mouth? I say his servant shall drink. Why you damn two thirds gonna be fucking thirsty at the end of the day? So, inevitably, yeah, how about your mouth? Was got our everything covered, man. All right. You know, so the service gonna be taken. We gonna be taken care of. Cause I trust gonna be in your how about your mouth? Was most is gonna make a way for us to escape. He's gonna provide for our needs in that day and that time, man. All right, maybe don't be on your time, but on your how about your mouth shot time, and that's the right time at the end of the day, man. All right. Now, Isaiah, I mean Shlach, I'm talking about Isaiah. Amos 5 and 19. It says, Shlach, Amos 5, finish up verse Amos 5 and 18. It says, To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, your how about your shot is darkness and not light, man. And I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there. You know, going to the parable with the lion and you run into a bear and you run into a serpent. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much all that represents judgment of Yahweh Bashim Abishai of what he's gonna bring to Babylon at the end of the damn day or whatnot. So if your ass destined to be destroyed, your ass gonna be fucking destroyed. If you ain't of the elect, guess what? Yahweh Bashim Abishai would not defend you. He would not deliver you, man, in your calamities at the end of the day, man. All right, and your ass can go out a million and one goddamn fucking ways, man. Ultimately, your ass gonna, most of gonna hit your ass with that goddamn motherfucking nuke, man. All right, you gonna hit with a guy, you gonna get hit with a damn nuke, man. You gonna be, you, you gonna be participating in that nuclear fire, all right, at the end of the damn day because of your disobedience, man. Because, you know what I'm saying, you wanna trust in fucking Babylon, all right? You don't wanna hearken to your how about shimmy how shot at the end of the day or whatnot. Your ass will not be goddamn fucking defended. You, or your goddamn household at the end of the day, man. All right, if they end up the elect, you and your household gonna go out at the end of the day. Y'all gonna go out in flames, man. Matter of fact, before you go out in flames, most I can torment your ass and put you to goddamn death before the uh, before the missiles hit. And guess what? Your how about your mouth shot so bad, all right, and so terrible. Hell, he can raise your he can raise your spirit back and put it right back in your goddamn fucking body and burn your ass all over again in that nuclear fire, man. All right, the most I can allow. Allow your ass to go out, all right. Get put to damn death, all right. You know, and then most I can raise your ass back up, and, and, and your ass gonna be, you know, what I'm saying your ass gonna be in contempt, you know, what I'm saying, you know, and your ass gonna be participating in that damn second death, man. All right, that's a terrible way to fucking go out, man. At the end of the day, man. All right, even though, you know, what I'm saying the, uh, you know, what I'm saying all of Israel gonna be, all of Israel gonna be in the kingdom. Ultimately, all of Israel gonna be saved, but the elect is gonna be saved on this side here, man. Two thirds, y'all would not be y'all would not be represented by Yahweh Bashimah Bashah on this side right here, man. All right, your judgment, most high is gonna bring upon your ass, man. It, it ain't gonna be no light judgment at the end of the day, like I said, man. You know, like you have Jake with that mindset. Well, you know what? We're gonna be in the kingdom anyway, so what the hell, man? You know, I can go ahead and live my damn life, do what I do at the end of the day. If I'm gonna come back in the kingdom, I'm, which is true, yes, we're gonna come back in the kingdom, but then you can't count out. The judgment and the wrath the Most High may bring upon your ass in that second death. Most High may, man, that your ass be up in that goddamn thermonuclear ballistic sonic missile fire. You know what I'm saying? And your and your how about your shot said his spirit gonna actually be in that fire as well too, man. So you don't know, we don't know, you don't know how long that fire and the ignition of your how about your shot is gonna fucking be, man. All right, and that can feel like fucking forever at the end of the damn day. See, that's y'all niggas up there temping Yahweh Bashim Shah as usual. Y'all niggas temping the Lord at the end of the day. Most high, hear all your hear he hear your talk. He hear your talks, man. All right, hear your idle fucking um talks and shit. You niggas be spewing out your damn wicked ass fucking mouth and shit, man. All right, everybody gonna be held accountable, man, for the actions at the end of the goddamn day. And like I said, man, you know what I'm saying. Nobody, nobody seen. This rap that Yahweh Bashim Abishai got, this is the angriest he ever been, man. So if y'all want to play with Yahweh Bashim Abishai, y'all be my guest, man. You know, I ain't going to play with him. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm scared, bro. I'm too fearful, bro. I ain't trying to get no damn thermonuclear. I ain't trying to be in a thermonuclear fight. I, I I don't want that everlasting shame, man, at the end of the damn day or what. And I ain't want to feel that everlasting shame. I ain't want to be walking around the kingdom with my head down, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, fuck all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, hey man, do what you gotta do. Do what Yahweh Shemal Shah commanded us to do to the best of your ability at the end of the day or whatnot, man. You better get your damn ass in fucking line at the end of the day. Present your body as a living sacrifice, man. All right, trusting Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. Even to death at the end of the goddamn day, man. Giving up the things of this fucking world. Trimming the fucking fat, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? Rather, rather what, whatever that be, man. Taking the cloak out your own 
big old eyes and shit. All right, making sure your ass is moving and operating in the spirit of your how about you, how was shot. That's what a man of the Lord would always do and we we'll always consider, man. You gotta fight, man. And the law ain't done away with, man. All right, the law ain't done away with, man. All right. Going back to Matthew, the fifth chapter, Yahweh Shah said he ain't come to destroy the law, but he came to fulfill the law, man. And also, Matthew, the 10th chapter, the 34th verse, Yahweh Shah, all right, said through the power of Yahweh, all right, the Lord said, hey, I came not to bring peace on this earth, but he swore at the end of the day, man. Going back to the Amos 5 and 18, man. You know what I'm saying? Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord, man, because you damn niggas. That desire the day of, uh, of the Lord of your how about shimmy how was shot man you know what I'm saying y'all niggas ain't right man all right you know y'all 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 niggas are not y'all did y'all didn't subject yourself up under your how about shimmy how was shot man all right you know you ain't come up under the men of the Lord the prophets man all right you know okay you ain't you ain't recognize or acknowledge us as being the true teachers of your how about shimmy how was shot man that going back the um I mean starting with that going back but that start starting with the elders apostles of great mills to the elder bishops. Elders of 07 on down to us, man. All right, you know? All right? You ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you look at us like, oh, man, those are peons. Those are those are nobodies, man. You know what I'm saying? Those are those are false prophets at the end of the day or whatnot. I ain't trying to hear what they got to say. Only God can judge me. They're always so judgmental or whatnot, even though it's a book of judges at the end of the damn day. But they so judgmental at the end of the day. Nah, that's y'all damn wicked-ass fucking niggas that don't want to fucking get right, man. All right, at the end of the goddamn day or whatnot, man. You want to sit up there and you want to make an excuse, all right? You don't want to make loopholes, all right? You know what I'm saying? For your fucking wickedness, man. You, Jake, don't want to take accountability for your actions, bro. All right, you know? And that's one damn thing about a lot of these niggas in the fucking churches, man. They don't want to be held accountable at the end of the day, all right? They still want to eat their... That's why they say the law is done away with, and they still want to eat their pork. They still want to be moles out here, want to be moles and shit. All right, you know, want to trust in fucking Egypt at the end of the goddamn day or whatnot, man. Okay, all right. They they want to be in their comfortability, man. All right, but the th but the th but the thing but the thing about it is, it about to be a lot of uncomfortability. You how about your mouth shot by the brain? Jacob Trouble about to be very very fucking uncomfortable, man. That's why the elders apostles, you know what I'm saying, like El Pastor Har, El Pastor Bar, mainly, you know, been pushing. Hey, man, you you know what I'm saying El Pastor Bar did a video, you know, not too long after. Hey, man, y'all better learn how to love. You know what I'm saying? Not too much. You had to learn how to love. Well, El Pastor Hart pretty much he made. You know what I'm saying? He made a statement. You, hey, you better learn how to love to suffer, man. Which is a which is a true statement, man. Yeah, you got to learn to love to suffer. You know what I'm saying? You know for what's about to come in this society because this is not our rest. Michael two and ten. It, it says this is not our rest at the end of the day, man. All right, you know this place will pollute you at the end of the day. You'll be destroyed along with it. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know trusting in Babylon, getting comfortable here in Babylon. You don't want to see this damn bitch being de being being destroyed. That means your ass is wicked, man. All right, you love wickedness at the end of the damn day or whatnot. You co-sign wickedness at the end of the day. A righteous man, scripture tell you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, um, how, how how that scripture go? Uh, the righteous man, you know what I'm saying. You know, I mean to I mean the much wisdom, pretty much roughly paraphrasing, to to, to much wisdom is gathered. You know what I'm saying. How that scripture go, man? I can't even schlock. I was there catching the goddamn brain brain freeze or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? To pretty much, to you know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much, you'll be in a state of mourning, man. The elect will be in a, in the state in, in a state of mourning at the end of the day or whatnot, man. Damn, that shit, that shit fucking escaped my ass. What? I'm mad at that, man. I can't even damn think on think on it right now about that uh that script that particular scripture, man. You know what I'm saying? To to pretty much rough r roughly paraphrasing to um how that scripture go, man. And see now, nah, now nah, I ain't gonna be able to stop now. Nah, my mind ain't gonna, my brain ain't gonna stop going till I, till I get it or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You know, but at, but at the end, but at the end of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, a wise man gonna be in the house of mourning, man. You niggas gonna be in the fucking house of mirth at the end of the day or whatnot, man. Okay, lack of a better word or whatnot. You know, lack of better terms. That's that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use. They ain't what I wanted to use or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But pretty much, man. You know what I'm saying? To to much wisdom. You know what I'm saying? You have, you know what I'm saying? Your ass gonna have grief at the end of the day we go. All right? You know, I ain't totally quoted correctly, but that's what I was looking for. To, you know what I'm saying? To much wisdom you gather, to much grief you gonna have at the end of the day. Because we know the bullshit. We know, we know, we, we can measure the time. We know that the wicked is fucking ruling, man. Our spirit is like light. Our spirit is, is vexated 
at all the wickedness that's taking place, man. All right? Over here on a day-to-day -day basis, man. You know? But like I say, woe to you that desire the day of the Lord, man. Especially when you ain't got your act together. You ain't return back to your Habashim Habashim. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what that day gonna be for you, man? And that go, it gonna be destruction, man. For a lot of you damn niggas. Two-thirds of y'all gonna be destroyed, man. All right? You know? But nevertheless, man, you know, hey, you better get right while you can get right, man. All right? You know? You better take heave and hearken. Okay? All right? While the doors of mercy and grace are still open. But with that, man, that's the end of my listen, man. I pray and I hope that it was edifying to the body of the hopeful elect. And closing out, I want to say shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom, shalom.